Hey guys, uh, welcome to your singles love reading for Taurus. Uh, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, okay? Um, we'll see what your current blocks and challenges are in finding love, and then we'll finish off the read to see if there's any new love coming towards you, what you need to work on, look out for. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so uh, what do we have here for Taurus? Taurus, single Taurus in love. Tell me about single Taurus in love. What is currently going on with single Taurus in love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022 for single Taurus people. So let's see. Okay. Mm, one more. I need one more. Okay. Right now single Taurus with the sun in the reverse and the eight of swords. I feel like right now you're not happy. Yeah, you could be depressed, sad, fearful here. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like you're trying to close out a cycle here. Okay. So the world and the seven of wands. The Magician and the Knight of Cups. I feel like you're trying to manifest your knight in shining armor here. You're trying to manifest someone here that's going to sweep you off your feet. You know, uh, with the World card, I feel like, you know, you guys could travel around a lot or move around a lot, okay? Um, you know, this fear, this happy, this discontent that you're dealing with, I do feel like you're going to overcome it though, Taurus, okay? Tell me about the sun in the reverse. Why is the sun in the reverse here? Why is the sun in the reverse here? We have the five of pentacles, the eight of swords, and the three of wands here. Seems like, a, you know, so I, I feel like you could have been left here or that you could be dealing with some sort of insecurities that you're trying to move past, okay? I do feel like you're trying to move past it. All right. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, there is energy of sort of like looking towards the future here. All right. The world and the queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the seven of wands here and the nine of cups. Look, you are overcoming this. You know, I feel like you're finding that you are good on your own here. Okay. You're happy on your own or that you will be happy on your own here. Okay. Nine of cups, the uh, magician with a page of cups. The uh, Knight of Cups and the Star, Aquarius Energy, Knight of Cups, uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You guys are really connected to the universe, by the way. And I feel like the universe speaks to you. And I feel like, you know, what what's happening? I feel like what you're manifesting, the universe is trying to de de deliver this person to you. Um, someone here who's romantic, someone here who's, who's empathetic, really connected to themselves, really spiritual also, okay? I do feel like this person is coming towards you in divine timing here, okay? It could be a water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person can sweep you off your feet, okay? Uh, um, so uh, let's see what else you have here. What, else, what are some of the blocks and challenges that single, um, single um, Taurus is currently facing in love? What are some of the blocks and challenges that single Taurus is currently facing in love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. All right, we have the Page of Wands and the Fool. We have the Tower here and the Two of Pentacles and the Devil and the Empress here. Wow. Um, so the Page of Wands and the Fool, Aries, Leo, Sag with the Page of Wands, 
the um, full Aries energy, Scorp uh, not Scorpio, Aquarius energy, with a tower and the two of pentacles. Aries Scorpio. You know, I feel like you're going through a lot of changes here, Taurus. And we have the devil and the uh, empress here. And one of the things I feel like when it comes to your love life or when it comes to your life in general, I do feel like there's like a parent figure here that is, you know, very smothering. Okay. Uh, this person's definitely getting in the way of, you know, you pursuing your happiness here. Uh, because whoever this is, this is someone here who smothers you and someone here who's very controlling. So I do feel like there's a parent in the way that's sort of like, you know, wondering, you know, when you're going to find someone. Okay. You know, I, I, you know, I feel like, you know, with this individual, you know, it's sort of like times are ticking, uh, time is ticking here for them. You know, they're getting older. They're not getting any younger. Like, it's like when you're getting married, when you're going to have children, that sort of thing. Um, the thing is, I feel like, Taurus, I feel like you're not ready to give up this like adventurous lifestyle that you're in right now. It's like you're not opposed to love, but I feel like you want to find someone that's as adventurous as you, but also someone here who's emotionally stable, okay? Uh, Page of Wands here. The Justice card, the Fool, and the Six of Wands. Um, some of you guys might be a public figure, okay? So I feel like people, you know, know you or that you're recognized by people here. You know, with the Justice card, you know, you could be clearing out some sort of karma here. Maybe some sort of karma from your childhood. Maybe these indoctrinations that you learned uh, or that you uh, experienced with a parent here, I feel like you're letting that go or you're shedding that here. Okay, Justice Libra energy here. Tell me about the Tower. We have the Hermit Virgo energy, the Two of Pentacles, and the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Okay, there is someone in, in, in your energy field. Maybe not in your energy field, but in your orbit that's, that's going to be coming towards you here. Okay. Whoever this individual is, I feel like this person's really, 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 really spiritual. I feel like you could have a very transformative relationship with this individual, okay? The thing is, I, I do feel like there's some, some sort of uncertainty about like where you're gonna, where are you gonna land next, okay? Um, and like I said, with that devil and that uh, empress, you know, there could be a parent that's getting the way, in the way here. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, whoever this is, this could be an individual that tends to sabotage your connection or sabotage your life. I don't know. It could be anybody. I mean, this could be like a grandmother. It could be a mother or a father or a grandfather. It could be, you know, a, you know, a friend or something like that. Okay. There is someone here that's stepping in trying to like, stop this from happening here okay or this is this is an individual that's trying to get as much information as possible here uh, about your life um tell me about taurus is there anyone new coming towards taurus and love single taurus what does single taurus need to work on look out for All right, Knight of Wands and the uh, Eight of Swords. We have the Lovers and Judgment. And then we have the Ace of Swords here and the Six of Swords. Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Okay, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the um, Lovers and the um, Judgment card, Sagittarius energy, the Lovers, Gemini energy. We have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords. Okay. It, this is so interesting because like I said, I feel like you guys, some of you guys are like nomads or something like that. When it comes to love, it's like you're looking for it, but at the same time, it stresses you out because you don't want to lose your freedom. You don't want to be tied down to anybody. You don't want to be tethered to anybody here. Um, Knight of Wands, Eight of, Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the High Priestess here. You know, I feel like you want to fo follow your passions here, uh, Taurus. 
you know, I feel like, you know, there's an energy of sort of like doing what's right for you, following your intuition here. The uh, 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 lovers, the, the nine of wands, the uh, judgment card, and the higher and Taurus energy, there's your energy right here. There's definitely some trauma surrounding relationships here. But, you know, with the judgment card and the uh, hierophant, you could be going through a huge spiritual awakening here. The ace of swords, the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the six of swords here, and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like the truth is, I feel like you just want to invest in your traveling. I just feel like you just want to be a free bird. You just want to soar. You don't want to be tethered to anyone or tied down to anybody here, even though there's someone here that's coming in for you. Okay, so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.